Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new here, hello, I'm Tom, welcome to my channel. If you've been here for a while, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I, what the heck are you doing? These dogs are lit up in here, but never mind that. Today, I have a very special episode for you guys because I'm gonna be doing something that, yes, it says right in the title, teaching any dog how to walk nicely on a leash using two things, your voice and just a simple leash. But wait, it gets better. I'm gonna be doing Tom's Trivia and I'm gonna be giving away three no bad dog bundle packs of merch. And all you have to do is watch this video until the end of the video. And I know who watches the whole thing and who doesn't because it tells me. And all you have to do is answer Tom's trivia correctly. It'll test you if you know your dog information or not. So you have to watch this video to the end. Like, of course, leave a comment below if you think you know the answer and you automatically get entered to win a bundle pack. I'm gonna be picking three people, which we've never done before. Good luck to everybody. Here we go. <laughs> So I'm just gonna teach him, like, uh, all I'm gonna do is just put this little leash on him, and every time he walks past me, I'm just gonna give him pressure, and I'm gonna mark it, like, heel. So heel means, like, hey, you should be doing something else, so. Does that make sense? Okay. Tucker, heel. Good, heel. What he's gonna do, heel, eventually, heel. Is that, good, exactly. So that's a top behavior, ah, sit, good job. Exactly, so I go out, I say heel, he goes, what's that, bang, he bangs off the end. I go out the other way, I say heel, bang, he bangs off the end, he's like, well, what the heck? And I say heel, and he's like, I'm going with you this time. And then it shuts off, and I say, yay! So two things happen, is he didn't get any correction or any pressure from the leash, and he didn't get any pressure or negativity or correction from my voice inflection either. Does that make sense? So then I go, so I'm turning everything, it's very binary. It's, it's either like Wah, or yay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna start marking this behavior a little bit more now. So I'm gonna be using a lot more healing, good heel, heel, good heel, to tell him what this sequence is, this exercise is. Okay, heel. Good, good. So I turn, heel, good, heel. Yes, good heel, heel. Good job, big man. Heel. Good job. <laughs> heel. Good. Good. Heel. Yes, good heel. Good job. Heel. Good. 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 So I'm just setting the tone. Just like teaching him what heel is. But like I said, the macro is he's paying attention where I'm going. Because I want him, like, if I go out and then I turn and go the other way, I want him to go, oh, where are you going? I don't want him to go, all right, yeah, see you later. I'm going that way. Because then you can't teach him anything. He's not, it's called engagement. He's not engaged with you as a handler. So within three to five minutes, just going back and forth and teaching the dog, follow me. Basically, it's what it is. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. And he's going to go bong, bong each time. And he's going to be like, well, this kind of sucks. And then as soon as he realizes that if he turns with me, it shuts off, then you've completed the task of teaching him what heel is. Does that make sense? Okay. So, I'm gonna so when he's in this heel position, I'm going to just say, good heel, good heel. So good means you're doing something good. Heel means this is heel. So I'm marking it. Does that make sense? Beautiful. Good, I'm gonna switch him up and test him again. Heel, yes, good heel. Good, heel, good. Now, sit. Now what you can do to get him a little bit more motivated to do that, because you can tell, he's like a little kid that's in school, he's like, this is boring. So, <laughs> just get a little bit of food out. And what I like to do is just get like a bigger block of food, but just keep it in my hand and not distribute it. Two things is, is he works for it harder, so he got a little bit frustrated. He's like, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. And then also, too, he's not focusing on like chewing it and all that stuff. So now I can take it a step further to help mark the behavior. Okay, heel. Yes, good heel. Good heel. Good heel. Sit. Yes, good. Okay, buddy, heel. Good. So then this becomes a little muscle memory game. 
Good heel. Sit. Yes. Good. Heel. So I just used this one little piece of food for like 20 minutes. Uh-uh. He's just chewing it out of my hand. Dogs don't care how much they get as long as they get a little. <laughs> we just think that like, oh, they need a piece of treat. It's like if they just smell a treat, they're like ready to go. So anyway, um, because they have so many different sensories, you know, with their smelling and their taste and, oh, it makes them so, yeah, it's euphoric. So anyway, you get the idea. So now what I can do is I've taught him how to heal with no motivation, just like, hey, buddy, let's do this. He's like, okay, this is kind of boring. And I saw that and I said, okay, this is kind of boring for you. So we're going to move over to like a little bit of motivation. And then I was able to heal him around and he's like bouncing. So now I'm going to show you how to hybrid the two together because a lot of people have problems with just using this because if I didn't if I didn't mark this behavior and teach him with leash pressure before meaning if I just did hey here you're you're an animal and here's a piece of food follow me around he's not learning this but I did it before and then I inter I intertwined the food does that make sense so now what I'm going to do is hybrid the two together and basically all I'm going to be doing is rewarding less with the food but it's going to be present does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Heel. Good heel. Good. Good heel. Good. So I put it in my pocket. Good heel. And it gives him something to do. He's a puppy. He's five months old. He needs something to work for. Good heel, buddy. Cool. So you just practice this for the next week or so and marking it. Um, and then the good thing about the leash pressure with your teaching the heel is, is the leash pressure will teach him everything else. Like if I took this down, because when I gave him pressure, he's like, oh, I'm doing something wrong, I need to change. And he got that. That's how I was able to do heal in the beginning. The key to healing is making sure that you're giving him only information that he knows because you don't wanna just completely clutter him with a bunch of information. Because when we're teaching a dog a behavior, it's like a single word. So we say heal, sit, stay, down. It's just one word they're trying to figure out. Okay. Yeah. yeah, right. And it's not like terrible. I'm just, I'm letting you know like tips to help you guys get better at it. And I'm not the type of person that's like, nope, that's wrong. Cause you like, I don't care. I'm just letting you know that this is like the streamlined way of a dog's point of view. And so same thing, like when I say heel or sit or down, like don't go, okay, buddy, let's go. Okay, buddy, let's go. That's four different commands he doesn't know. To us, it's a chain of English language and we understand that conversation. He doesn't, he's trying to figure out, okay, heal, okay, heal, heal. And then you're like, okay, buddy, let's heal. He's like, oh, that's too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, so just make it simple, make it fun. So all you do is heal, good heal. So he knows good because he understands that tone and that voice inflection. All right, guys, the end of the video, which means Tom's trivia question, you get to win a No Bad Dogs beanie and a sticker bundle. I'm gonna pick three people randomly when you guys answer this question correctly in the bottom below. And of course, if you watch this whole video in full length, the question of the day is, what breed of dog is known for, instead of barking, a yodel? Leave your answers in the comments below.